Watch every stage live as the Giro d'Italia reaches its conclusion on GCN Plus, where you can also find highlights and on-demand replays. Mark Cavendish was lining up a day after announcing his retirement. Bruno Mirai looking to keep the pink jersey, but it would be an uphill task for him, Thibaut Pino and Groupama FDJ, with the Giro d'Italia set to go into the mighty mountains. A minute and eight seconds, the Frenchman's lead, Armirail, realistically knowing that it would be a tough uphill ask, once the race left the shores of Lake Garda, heading up just over 203 kilometers to the top of Monte Bondone. The trouble was that wasn't the only climb of the day. Several of them, in fact, classified climbing, tough climbing, more meters of climbing than any other stage of this Giro d'Italia, adding up to well over five and a half thousand. First finish at Monte Bondone since 2006 and Ivan Basso's win. A summit finish famous too for the exploits of Charlie Gaul back in the 1950s. The first hour was ridden at 52 kilometers per hour and it took a while to see the breakaway formed. Confusion in the various tunnels alongside the lake. Once it was formed, it was a big one and Ben Healy was there taking the maximum points at the top of the first classified climb. He'd be on his way to moving into the King of the Mountains jersey and Astana Kazakhstan were on their way to trying to surprise everybody. Pronsky and Scaroni setting off, but Jumbo Visma behind with the gap at five minutes to the Magliarosa group, laying their fist on the table and deciding that the GC battle was finally going to be unpaused. Aurélien Paré-Peintre was a danger up the road at just four minutes and 30 in the GC. Jack Haig and Patrick Conrad were there as well. When they got onto the final climb though, the brakes started to break up and Jumbo Visma continued to put the pace on. Zana was there for Eddie Dunbar behind. Several other satellite riders too, including Jack Haig. Diego Lisi be looking to do that job. And the peloton behind, or what was left of it, was getting closer. Once Jumbo Visma finished, it was up to UAE Emirates. First Formolo, then Vine, and with 10 Ks to go, the Magliarosa was in trouble. Hugh Carthy was struggling as well. Several riders finding that the pace was too much. Once Jay Vine was done, Almeida was on the attack, starting the day in fourth position, but only 22 seconds behind the magnetic north, Geraint Thomas. Primoz Roglic was in there and still had Sepp Kuss, and he'd need him. Six kilometers to go, Almeida set off on the attack. Dunbar, the survivor, the best of the rest, Geraint Thomas jumped across to him with four and a half k's to go and tried to distance the Portuguese. He wouldn't manage that, but he would really put Roglic in trouble. Half a minute put into him at one stage. Roglic thanking his lucky stars and Sepp Kuss for still being in touch. He'd get closer towards the end and Thomas would be riding into the final 500 meters. Joao Almeida, the best young rider, Geraint Thomas, the man looking to become the oldest ever winner of the race. Both of them in tandem working well. Almeida taking his first ever Grand Tour stage win, only the third Portuguese Giro win down the years. Thomas finishing with him and moving back into the Magliarosa, and 25 seconds lost by Primoz Roglic and Eddie Dunbar. He, however, moving up into fifth place in the GC. Not great day for Caruso. Leonard Kenner losing a bit of time. All the glory to Almeida and Geraint Thomas putting the G in Giro, having an 18 second lead in the GC. Almeida, Thomas and Roglic, Dunbar and Kuss in the top five as well. Geraint Thomas had lost a teammate throughout the day with Pavel Sivakov having to climb off, but he's looking better by the day. The Welshman 36 will turn 37 in a couple of days. He leads by 18 seconds from Almeida, 29 in front of Roglic, and then it's 250 back to fourth place Caruso, and 303 to Dunbar, who's moved up to fifth. The Magliarosa returning to the shoulders of Welshman Geraint Thomas. Ineos Grenadiers in the lead, but there are some big stages still to go. Ben Healy on a good day for Irish cycling with Dunbar into the top five, moves into the King of the Mountains jersey. He now has a 20 point lead, but no King of the Mountains points to be played out on stage 17. Should be one for the sprinters, or maybe those who can hold off weaker sprint teams from the breakaway. It's another long day, almost 200 kilometers.
going downhill from the mountains and to the plains of the Veneto, finishing in Caorle. Intermediate sprint at Lido Yezolo. And that finish with no lumps and bumps, really, after 197 kilometers. The Giro d'Italia continues. The Giro d'Italia is in play on GCN Plus, where you can watch it live and on demand each day.